My name's David Casey. Uh, I grew up in Hutchinson, Kansas. I've been a Jayhawk fan my whole life. You know, the pride runs really, really deep. I remember where I was in 1988. I remember where I was in 2008. Lawrence is a good town. Um, you know, I always wanted to find a way to live and work as a, you know, as a TV person or a film, as a film person in Lawrence. I feel like I just missed that pocket. You know, I, I left to go to New York right I think the same year that Kevin Wilmot started. I grew up in Hutchinson, Kansas. Hutchinson um, is a salt mining town, um, Morton Salt. It has the largest deposits of salt in the United States. And the first time I came to Greenland, um, I could see the same personalities that exist in Hutchinson, Kansas, or Lawrence, or Kansas City. Ice Cold Gold is a, a, it's a adventure reality show on Animal Planet. The story is um, about um, a, group, a mining company, American mining company, going to Greenland to strike it rich. And they have. This is it. This is it. Oh my god. This one little spot right here in this whole outcrop is the richest spot that we've seen in two years. They found everything from um, commercial gold deposits to, to large ruby deposits. Um, last summer, the second season, they they found a large ruby deposit that is valued at over $13 million. million. They've traveled thousands of miles, um, and our crew of now 32 has followed them everywhere they go. Look at that one, grab that one. Look at this, grab it. First That's ruby in the sleuth. For me, it's, it's an entry point into what Greenland is and what's happening there. And when I went over the first time in 2008, one of the subjects we covered was mining. Um, Greenland is just a large rock. You know, the entire country is three times the size of Texas, and there's only 57,000 people that live on the island. The Greenlandic people have seen global warming happening, um, you know, longer and faster than anyone else. But there are also a group of people that, in, in a culture that's over 4,000 years old, and those 57,000 people have origins that have adapted since day one, and they believe that. Um, Mining was the answer, that, that, that um, mining is not only the answer to help them gain independence from Denmark, but it's also a way to regulate and protect themselves from you know, all the impending forces that are interested in fossil fuels and, and, and um, precious minerals. They have advocates worldwide um, and they don't want to become like any other developing mining country. They don't want to become, they don't want social conflict, they don't want civil war. They don't want you know, social dumping like you've seen in Africa and Southeast Asia. They want to make sure that if this happens, it happens and they benefit and they can exhibit to the world this sustainable mining industry. My story ideas come from the things that interest me. I mean, I've, I've always wanted to do a story on the border war between you know, the, the Columbia Tigers and, and the Jayhawks. I've always thought that would be great. And the same thing happened with TVs. I, I want to make TV that I would watch. If you have that, that, that passion for it, if you have a real interest in it, you will stay a little longer, you'll push a little further, and that's the things that, um, that keep me going, is yeah, it, at the end of the day, it could just be a TV show for me, but I really, really have a passion for the things that I make, and it, it tips the scales and keeps the project going.